Good morning from my laundry room. Um, excuse the lighting and the messy bun head, but that's life. I just wanted to go over a couple sales with you that I'm going to get out today. I have two Poshmark sales and one eBay sale. I have two more eBay sales, but they haven't paid yet, so we're not going to ship those out, obviously. The first Poshmark sale is this Lucky Brand sweater. It has, um, like, exposed seams. Here, I can show you. Uh, it's called the Forward Seam Turtleneck. This sold on an offer of $19. It took 11 months to sell. I got it in January of this year. Um, I think I listed it at like $35 um, and I paid $1.74. The other sale would have really helped me out um, earlier in the week when we did the results of the $50 thrift challenge with Becky Park on Poshmark's group. Um, but sadly, it did not make the cutoff. This is the Barber Jacket. It cleaned up pretty nice, except for one small mark, which I did note in the photos. And this sold for full price on Poshmark for $75. I paid $5, nope, sorry. I paid $4.39, so a great sale. All right, and the last one I'm going to talk to you about right now is a Brandy Melville top. It's like this green ribbed long sleeve. <clears throat> um, I don't pick up Brandy Melville anymore, and this item is at least two years old. I got it from the bins. Like I said, I don't pick up brandy anymore i hate that they have one size fits all because it's really not one size fits all it's one size fits a very small um number of people um but anyway this sold for 12 dollars. it was an offer on ebay happy to move it got it from the bins and i just want to get rid of it i have one more brandy piece left it's a pair of pants and honestly if they don't sell anytime soon i'm probably going to send them to thread up because i think i purchased them in like 2019. All right, well, I'm going to get those orders packed up so I can get them outside before my mailman gets here. It's Saturday, so uh, I got to get on that. He comes at like random times on the weekend. Uh, when he's during the week, he's usually consistent, but uh, on the weekend, it's sometimes not even like till one o'clock in the afternoon after the post office is already closed. So I want to make sure I get them and I don't have to run to the post office last minute. Me again, um, as you can see, I'm running myself on YouTube in the background, but I just wanted to hop on and talk to you guys about something real quick. Um, I got a return on eBay for these fry boots. You guys saw them in a recent thrift with me. I found them like on the floor of the thrift store. Um, and she opened a INAD, so an item not as described on eBay. So I had to pay the return shipping and she claimed that they were missing teeth on the zippers on the back. Um, and so they didn't work correctly. So like I said, I had to pay return shipping I just got them back and I was ready to process the refund So I opened them up and looked at them, but there are definitely No missing teeth on these boots um, so I opened a message with eBay for Business on Facebook to see if they could help me out what to do here. Um, I'm supposed to refund her by Monday. Today's Saturday, so I don't know what to do. I've never had this happen before. Would you still just refund the buyer and try to sell them again? Or would you kind of, you know, put up a fuss with eBay um, and see what can be done? Since I really don't want to have to pay the return shipping. It's like $12 to get these sent back to me um, when there's nothing wrong with them. So so let me know if this has happened to you before and what you would do in this situation. All right, so before I get back to the normal vlog, I'm going to take a pizza break, you know, passports and pizza pies. Then I'm going to shower real quick and um, show you some like behind the scenes of me filming some vlogs for Vlogmas um, because, you know, I'm trying to show you a little pizza, my life.
I just wanted to share, um, since I'm sharing my whole day with you guys, um, I got an order from Target that I placed on Black Friday. It came with air bubbles, you know, us resellers love when that happens. And this is the game Beat That, the Bonkers Battle of Wacky Challenges. So. Um, if you've been around for a while, you know that I had a goal um, a few years ago um, to have one family game night every month without any electronics. So no TV, no phones, no iPads, no nothing. Um, so we like to play games and that's something that I want to, you know, continue doing because I think it's fun and it's nice to just get away from devices. So I saw this was on sale on Black Friday and decided to pick it up. Here's just a quick view of me trying to edit um, Vlogmas Day 4. I wanted to pop that in here since I am getting that done today. Going to Crapplebee's for dinner because this guy has a gift card. <laughs> Guac, cheese dip, queso dip, and salsa. Went for the queso dip. I got some fish and chips and garlic taters. Wait, he wasn't on film. What? <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> Use your words or are you a dog? <laughs> this. <laughs> what, trying to fight? <laughs> Get out of here. Yo, this one goes there, you no, turd. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> it'll take you nowhere. <laughs> Anywhere. Why are you pouting? I don't know. What do you do with this crap? <laughs> dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> Made you out of clay. <laughs> you fail. First, I want to point out that I'm going to get two of these one for my Tide Pods and one for my dryer balls. <laughs> oh my god, can you just go? Days until Christmas. This calendar seem wrong. Shouldn't they be counting down, not counting up towards Christmas? Let us know in the comments below. What are you doing? <laughs> Put them down. Shh. I'm gonna come back for these when there's more. Yeah, these. Severus is being antisocial. <laughs> Hi. Picking up a bunch of toys so I can donate them for Toys for Tots. So I got like four or five things in here. 